Let's talk about contacting your elected officials. This is an important way to advocate about issues you care about in your community. This video will provide an overview of different ways to contact elected officials, as well as advice on how to do so effectively. While we will mostly be focusing on state legislators in this presentation, this advice is also generally applicable for contacting any elected official. Anyone who lives in New Hampshire can contact an elected official. You do not have to be a US citizen or even registered to vote to do so. If you live here, you are a constituent and your elected officials need to hear from you about the issues impacting your life. Here are a few examples of ways to make your voice heard to elected officials. The first step is finding your elected officials' contact information. You can find state representatives and state senators' contact information on the general court website. You can find contact information for the governor's office on their website. One effective way to reach an elected official is with a phone call. When preparing to make a call, it is often helpful to write down some bullet points of things you want to say. You should plan for the call to be under five minutes. If you want to have a longer conversation with them, ask if you can get a cup of coffee or schedule a Zoom meeting. You should be aware that when you are calling a New Hampshire state representative, you are calling their personal number or cell phone. A family member might answer the call. Just ask to leave a message with your name, phone number, and what you are calling about. When you are calling a New Hampshire state senator, a staff person will likely answer your call. Again, ask to leave a message with your name, phone number, and what you are calling about. Another way to contact an elected official is through email. They get a lot of emails, so make the subject line of your email searchable, which means the elected official can type some keywords into their inbox search bar and find your email faster. Another important way to advocate is to testify at a public hearing. In the New Hampshire state legislative process, every bill gets a public hearing. This means you can voice your input on any bill. If there is a bill you are following, it is important to know that it can have two public hearings, one in the House and one in the Senate. It's important you participate in both hearings because they are for different audiences. When testifying, try to keep your testimony under two to three minutes. This increases the effectiveness of your testimony by keeping it concise and to the point. We recommend bringing bullet points of what you want to say during your testimony. You should also bring a written copy of your testimony to give to the committee members. If you do not want to or cannot give oral testimony, you can use the GenCourt's remote sign-in option to indicate your support or opposition of a bill and upload written testimony, all from the comfort of your home. Letters to the editor are another great way to make your voice heard on an issue. These reach both the public and your elected officials, who often read the opinion section of the newspaper to see what their constituents are talking about. LTEs are generally about 250 words maximum and are submitted to your local newspaper on their website. Another option similar to an LTE is an opinion editorial or op-ed. These are longer at about 800 words maximum and are usually submitted by someone who has a lot to say about a subject, whether because of personal or professional experience. These are submitted by emailing the opinion section or editor of the newspaper directly. Finally, another great way to draw attention to an issue you are advocating around is to post about it on social media. Sometimes you can tag your legislators directly in the post, but sometimes they are not on social media. Often, social media posts are simply information sharing, but we recommend when possible including an action item in your post, such as call your legislators about this issue today. This encourages others to also advocate in some way for the issue you care about. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact me, Futures.